Jared Poland, Fro Nose Photo. I'm here down in South by South West in Austin, Texas, and I'm with a man from Oklahoma, Graham Colton. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. How are you doing? Good, man. Long time, uh, well, lot, sort of long time, no see. It's been, it's been a while since we've run into each other. I think it was at the World Cafe in Philly, but I've known Graham here. The very first, well, actually, the first show I ever shot was the Counting Crows off the Hard Candy Tour, but you were the first band I ever shot because you were opening for them that time. Did you know that? Well done. Yes, yes. I'm, those were good days, man. Good days. <laughs> do you remember me walking backstage, knocking on your dressing room door, and asking to jump on the road with you? I do, I do. The, the hair wasn't quite what it is now. We were, we were a little younger, a little more clean cut. Uh, not as haggard and Beat weathered and torn as we are now. And that was in 2003. So what are you up to now? What projects are you working on? Um, well, I'm still... Uh, Doing my thing, you know, keep on keeping on. I'm, I'll go on another tour this spring. Um, I'm an independent artist again, which has been liberating and exciting and scary and kind of all the above. So that's, that's sort of my uh, main thing. But uh, I've got a new project that I'm going to be... Should we debut it right now? If you would like to debut it, I'd be more than happy to uh, help you debut it. Whatever debuting means, but I haven't told anybody the name. I, I'm working with a songwriter named Lindsay Ray, and I met her in Los Angeles. We were hooked up, kind of similar to the Civil Wars, how they were brought together. Uh, I mean, if we could have a fraction of their success, that would be wonderful. But we were, uh, we're both songwriters. We do a lot of writing for other people on the side. And our publishing company hooked us up to write kind of any kind of song we wanted to. So we started writing and pretty soon after the first song we were kind of like, this is pretty cool, we should just form a band. So we're forming a band, we're gonna release an EP in the summer, our first single song, whatever you want to call it, will come out hopefully in April. The band is gonna be called Sooner the Sunset. I don't know what that means. That means the sooner the sunset, the quicker we can get to getting into bed. It's about the time when the sun and the and the, you know that magical time before it gets dark. No, no, there's there's no there's no meaning behind it. That's that's the, the nature of this project was. Hey, we have some songs. You're cool. I don't know you that well. You don't know me that well. But let's form a band. That's that's definitely awesome. I look forward to hearing what it sounds like. Does somebody play? Does somebody get to play piano in this? Yes, Lindsay plays piano. I play guitar, not very well, uh, but um, we just. I don't know, I think we were both at a place where she has a very well-established solo career and um, it's just one of those things where it was the right time, right place to do something a little bit different than we're, what we normally do and I'm ready for something, not else, but something also. Yeah, and that's definitely good that you can just, being independent, you can do what pretty much anything you want and have fun and go places and play and do what you love. But to bring this into a photography thing, you know, have you encountered many, you probably encountered a ton of photographers in your time, and I'm not going to say am I the best one that you've worked with, but you are. Am, am I the best one you've worked with? You are. You are. And we didn't, you'll see, we didn't edit that. There was no, like, thing. That was <laughs> off the, I was on the fly. I mean, so when you see a photographer shooting you in the pit, do you ever play it up to them or do you just do your thing and let them try to capture what they're going to capture? No, I, I mean, I, I, I always, and I'm not just saying this because you're next to me, but I think some of the best photos that you take are when you're not really expecting to be taken. I'm bad at photo shoots. I've got some horrible photos out there, but I feel like I've got some good ones. Uh, you know, like that one that we did in the backyard of that place I played in Philadelphia in 2000. Three, four, what was that? 2004, you're playing with Citizen Cope, and it was called North by Northwest. Yeah, that place. We did some cool photos that day, and I think that was literally like, you were like, hey, just come outside, sit down for a minute, I'll snap some photos, and then that was it. And I think that was like, we used that photo for like years. Yep. So, I just think though, that's, that's when it happened. That's when music is created the best way, when you're not thinking about what it's going to become. That's why this new band for me is exciting. And uh, hopefully, when we come through Philadelphia, you can sort of be like, hey, look over here and snap something. And then it'll be like our album cover shot. I'll be more than happy to do that. So now we're going to have Grant play a song called Pacificos Eyes off of Pacificos Eyes Volume 1 and Volume 2. There's two different versions. One is more breezy and one is more poppy. So which version are we getting today or a mix of both? The broppy version. 
All right, so coming right up after I jump out of here, Graham is going to play Pacific Coast Eyes. You made it out of that one horse little town. Told yourself you wouldn't let nobody slow you down. You said goodbye, said you wanted something more. You got away with your downtown city life. You're gonna stay till you're somebody's second wife. Where do you begin? You're moving it into the top floor. Ba -ba -ba. Postcard from your Pacific Coast eyes. Goodbyes, your Pacific Coast eyes start to close. And I'm on the outside. And maybe it's time your Pacific Coast eyes come back home. And I'm on the outside. Now you're everything that you want to be. Pacific Coast eyes start to close. 